Hello everyone, welcome to Laravant. I'm your host William Juma. In this video, we will learn about Laravel notifications. I purpose to create several video episodes because I want them to be short and that is we will be talking about small parts of um, the whole uh, thing about Laravel notifications. Notifications are important part of any system that interacts with users. Notification will notify users about important information through various delivery channels. And in Laravel, we can be able to use Slack. We can also be able to use the short message that is SMS and we can use email or we can also use uh, the database. So in the in this video, we will talk about how to use Laravel notifications for sending email uh, notifications. And then afterwards, we can be able to go to database and uh, the others as we move on like that. So I want us to, here we have a new installation of uh, a Laravel application. And what I want us to do is to have some sort of authentication such that when the user logs in, then we can be able to fire an email. That is actually what I want us to do. And so for this case, the first thing that I would actually want to do is to install Breeze. So I'm going to just write in terminal here, composer require Laravel Breeze hyphen hyphen dev that command we install for us laravel breeze and laravel breeze basically we provide for us an authentication so a login system that is just what we have to use it for and then of course i'm going to do php artisan breeze full colon install just to configure it and so what you're having here we're being asked which stack of breeze we want to install and as you can see you can install several stacks i'm going to choose livewire vault this one here we are functional api so i'm going to just type in here livewire hyphen functional and then dark mode we can say yes and paste we can for testing we can choose paste like that that command we install for us livewire vault paste and every other dependency that we require and also it you run npm install and npm run dev for us so everything is uh done accordingly and here we can just maybe do the migration php artisan migrate and this will be migrations for a table that is called laravel and now you can see for me it says nothing to migrate because i have used such a table previously but that is beside what we are going to talk about today the other thing that i can do is to just run the command php artisan serve to start my laravel application and then on the side we can be able to run npm run dev and so we have installed breeze and we are using tailwind for this uh, scaffold so let us open our application in chrome and now inside here, you can be able to type localhost 8000. As you can see, we already have our Laravel application. And you can see we have login and register. I'd like to create um, a fictitious user with the name William. And then William at example.com. The password, you can just use password. And then we can click register. And so you see the beauty of Laravel just by doing those simple steps. I already have a fully fledged authentication system that can be able to assist us uh, be able to authenticate our users. And as you can see, we also have a nice dashboard that you can be able to use. I would like us to go straight to whatever it is that I wanted to do. And I want us to open resources, views, and inside views, we have a file that is called um, Livewire. Inside here, I want us to check a folder called pages because this is where our login.plaid is. And since we have already created a user, we can be able to log in using that user. And I want every time we go to login, we can be able to launch um, a notification to the user and just say your account has been logged in. Maybe not an ideal way of doing things, but for purposes of um, an example, I think it can be a very good one that we can be able to work with. Now, for us to be able to create a notification, we usually use the artisan command and we can be able to run the command in our terminal and we can run the command php artisan make notification and then I want to call it user login so that is the name of our notification and as you check above here inside the app folder there is no directory called notification but once we hit enter then that 
directory is created automatically so we have notification and we have user login when we look at it here we have a constructor so probably we can be able to pass something from wherever we are um, launching this notification and then of course we have the via object so here you can see we have mail and today i want us to just talk about mail but you can be able to add the others for example you can say database like that on and on and on but these others are we talk about them so you can have database you can have slack you can also have message and in this case you will be using the venmo driver for the messages but uh, for now i just want to stick on mail and now here we have our message so this is the message that you be sent and now you can be able to customize it accordingly depending with what it is that you are doing so probably this message you can be able to set it in the in the login um, form in that vault file or you can be able to just modify it here so for us we can be able to modify it here or we'll just send whatever it is that we have here so we can say um, in this introduction we can say new login or something and we can say someone has logged into your account can even pass in the time and so on and so forth you can say if it is not you um, please change your password of course and here you can be able to maybe pass in a url that they can be able to click and get some information about it for now i think we are not going to do anything about it we'll leave it like that down here we have to array so here you can be able to pass in whatever it is that um, you're passing in this message so similar to whatever it is that we have here when you are dealing with maybe um, you are dealing with the uh, database and so on and so forth so that we will talk about in maybe the next video and so i want us to go back to our our login dot blade so here and here is a, this is a vault um, page as you can see we have html and we also have some php code above here so above here i would like us to import our login uh, we have called it log user login i think so we can say use app uh, notifications and then inside there we can say user login like that and then after that we can be able to dispatch sort of in a similar way in which usually um a dispatch like uh, events we can do something of that sort so here maybe i can look at uh, the place where we are logging in so we are authenticating and then we are regenerating the session and then before we redirect this is where i want us to send our notification so what i'm going to do here i'm going to just uh, say user notify user notify and then inside here we can have new um user login user login like that and of course inside here you can be able to pass variables so maybe if you have a message you can be able to pass it there and then uh, get it from uh, the other side but in this case i am not really interested in that maybe we can pass in something just to for purposes of uh, just enjoying ourselves and we need two things because i've referenced user and we do not have any variable called user so here i can say because this user has already logged in i can say user is a uh, is um the authenticated user so you can say is out uh, user like that and then um i think that is okay and then probably we can pass in a message so maybe i can have a message variable so basically that is what you'll be doing so we can say my awesome uh, message like that so so it will be uh we pass in the message here and then notify and before we go ahead and see how we can be able to send the email i want us to just receive the message here in the constructor and then we can go ahead and and uh, dump it somewhere there so i can just pass in message like that so that is what we are getting from uh, the login form and here we can say dd uh, message like that and so i want us to attempt and see so i will log out and attempt to log in because we have actually put the logic in the login form so here i'm going to have william example.com and then the password I'm going to hit enter now you can see my awesome message and this message we are dumping here inside the user login not anywhere else so actually you can see that um, the notification is launched and it reaches this place
And since whatever it is that I wanted to pass in is not the message really, I think that is good demonstration. We can go ahead and see how we can be able to send these emails. So according to whatever it is that you have, the mail message you go and the first line will be new login and then you have an action button and then down there we have somebody has logged into your account and then every other thing like that. Of course, you can be able to customize whatever it is that you're sending here using a view, but uh, today we will not uh, do that. Maybe in the next uh, video, I may decide to make this a series of videos so we can be able to talk about it in the next several videos. And remember, this is a very easy way of uh, doing or sending the notifications. If you are to do it manually, it will take a lot of effort. Now, for us to be able to now send this uh, message, I want us to go to our ENV and I would like to modify whatever it is that we have here. And... Uh, Whatever it is that we have here is uh, we are using the mailer as a mail pit, the default that uh, is being used by Laravel. But I would like to change this to mail trap. So I am going to just go to mail trap and then I want to maybe go ahead and log in. Log in. And so if you do not have a mail trap account, you, you can go ahead and create one. And so what I need where I need to go is to check where we have the inbox and so once I have opened the inbox we have the settings above here and so uh, we have several things to look at but I'm only going to check and look at the SMTP settings and uh, since we are working with the Laravel we will not use CAL there is actually a provision for us to have Laravel and you can see Laravel 9 and above so that is what I'm going to select and then we can be able to make this visible. So you can click here to say show credentials if you want them shown. And so I'm just going to copy everything the way it is here. So you copy the host and uh, paste it here. And then the port is, is uh, 20, I think 25.25. So you change this to 25.25 like that. And then what else? We have the username as that, so I will paste the username here. And then of course we have the password, so maybe let me click to show credentials. And the password will be this one here, or you paste it here. So you can uh, create your own credentials, please don't use mine, just create yours. And now we are ready to attempt to send the email. I think every other thing can remain the way it is. And so I want us to just attempt and log in the user again. So we will refresh. And here I'm going to type in uh, William at example.com and the password like that. And then when I click login, we are logged in. I just want to check in MailTrap if we have the email and we do. You can see there is an email from uh, William at example.com. And then this is uh, the body. So we have hello, new login. And you can see someone has logged into your account. Please change your password. Regards. And this one is uh, regards Laravel because our app name is Laravel. If I change the app name to something else, it will follow suit. And also here the logo. Also, if I'm to change the logo and uh, put uh, my logo, also this one you change. So you can be able to just use the template the way it is, or you can be able to customize and have it looking the way you want it to look. And obviously you can be able to pass in attachments um, inside uh, these notifications on top of whatever it is that you have here. You can also be able to pass in attachment and do any other thing that you want with your mail message. This is the end of this tutorial video. Thank you very much for following up until this point. If you're new to this channel, please consider uh, subscribing. And if you like the video, you can give a thumbs up.